Welcome to the Beard of Wisdom YouTube channel where I bring the beard and we work on the wisdom together. I bought this bag uh, full of this stuff at an estate sale um, over two years ago. I bought this before my dad died. We went to this together and I've just not looked through it yet. So we're gonna do that on video and just see um, what some of this stuff is in here. First thing I see is, is it's a bag from Woodcraft. That's pretty cool right there. <laughs> That's probably about a $60 bag at yeah, least. Yeah. Um, if so, you've ever been there, nothing's cheap. Yeah. Um, it's not really capable of being zipped, so I did not unzip it, it came that way. So we'll just, there's stuff on the front. I don't see, is there anything here? I don't see anything. Can you take here? Right here. What's that? Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Nashville. That's a little tape measure. Little, that's a little tape measure. Huh. Oh, I still got oil on it. Yeah, hold that up to us. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, after we get done, I'll take a, a photo of all this later on the table and take some close up shots. That's old. I mean, there's not a Nashville, Knoxville, Tennessee, WW. W. Co. Mm. Anyway, pretty cool. I mean, it still works. Wow. Yeah. Wood shavings. You feel anything on the side over there? Nothing in the pocket. Okay, we'll do this. We open the outside in. I see a bunch of. What are they called these? Um, I know they're chisels, but they're socket. Socket chisels. Socket chisel? What's a socket chisel? Um, it's got a socket where you drive a piece of wood in there. Uh, you can make your own handle the way you Oh, okay. To, like if so you use a lathe and you can make your own handles. Yeah, so like you don't have to choose or be happy with what somebody else made you. You're standing. That's a Stanley. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Different sizes. Yeah. I can't read that one. Most of them, a lot of them are unmarked. This one. This, this is hand forged, not hand forged. Hudson Forged Company. Wow, it's tool. Another Hudson Forge. Mm. Nothing on that one. Huh. This is made in the United States. Hmm. Dunlap. How much is it? Yeah, yeah. Man, Dunlap. this one. Hmm. Somebody, <laughs> we're for our hometown. It's Dunlap. <laughs> Somebody used the bar out of this one. Yeah. They broke the handle and they decided to use it anyway. Hmm. That's pretty cool. You can still fix it. You can grind yeah, it off. Like you grind it and you can just sharpen them again. I mean, we're great. Cool. We'll have to make the handles. One more. That's about it's still pretty sharp. Rockford. Hmm. And there's a bunch of them. No, those are screwdrivers. These are screwdrivers. $500. No, I'm sorry. That's not what that is. Well, just little screwdriver inserts. Look at the... They all go to the same thing, whatever it is. Yeah. Almost like it's uh, some kind of... What? Some type of handle or... No, that doesn't. That's... It's just a drill bit. That's just a drill bit. Oh, uh, I'm about to look it up. Maybe you can put that in the it. Uh, we might find the handle. Yeah. Yes, over here. Of course, these are old tape measures. This is a Craftsman, you know, just those old wooden. Is it a Sears or? Um, craftsman brass end. Yeah. Spring joints. Yeah, these are been around a long time. What is that piece? Oh, mm -hmm. just, a, just a clip, I guess, for when it snaps in. I wonder if they even make those still. I don't know. But these are, you know, these are definitely probably collector's items. I don't know. So. I see a few more of those in there. Yeah. Oh, 
I know these. This, this isn't old. This is new. Oh. Those are... Oh, those, were, those are brand new. Those are just chisels or... Those are chisels. They're Stanley, ba Stanley Bailey chisels. And that came in that bag. Mm -hmm. Just wood chisels. There's something else. They're sharp too. Well, I mean, they still got the tip protector on them. Yeah. These are nice, man. You can sell those and make a little money. Now that didn't, that wasn't originally in this bag. It wasn't? No, I don't know where the, no, I mean, that's not, doesn't go with this. Oh, this, I mean, this doesn't even come out of that. Uh-uh. I don't know what that is. Some kind of pry tool. Does it got a name on it? Clark Bars by like Grain. I guess Clark bars are great. Maybe it's cane. Um, you ate so many Clark bars and you get to order one of these. Who knows? Anyway. Like the candy? I don't know. Clark bars are great. I thought it's got a name. Somebody scratched a name in the back of it. Marlin. Wow, that's cool. It's just drop forged. Yep. That's a good find. It's right there. Uh, I have never, I've not seen these in the stores. They remade. The, remember the Stanley Sweetheart chisels, the Sweetheart ones. They remade those. But that's been two years ago since I've looked at this stuff. Um, the the Sweetheart chisels, the original ones. It, very expensive. I don't know about the remakes, but... You know, Michael, just to back up, I mean, you remember what she gave for this whole bag of stuff? $75. $75 for this whole bag. Mm -hmm. I bet you that's $75. Yeah. 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 Because I remember Dad was telling me not to do it. Here's another. This one's a little more used. Yeah. I don't want to make this for... I think that's a Stanley. Yeah. Is that one? I'll let you pronounce that. Love can. Buffkin Engineers, Red End. Here's two other brand new. It's all look brand new. It's got the tips. Oh, it's got the tips. The handles don't look brand new. Look at these. Uh, they've been beaten up. Not really. They're yeah, pretty new. I don't see a brand on them, though. Yeah, I don't see them. Just unmarked. Three. Three. Antique rulers. Three. Ah, a square. Swanson Speed Square. That's right. It's only blue. Oh, here's another one. There's another chisel. There can have too many of these. Actually, you probably could, but anyway. Another. Stanley. That's a Stanley. It's newer. It's used, but it's not abused. Mm -hmm. Um. Those go to the old um, bit and brace. Yeah, what they're called. Yeah. yeah. Those man, are antique tools, man. If these are Stanley, they're worth a lot. I know that. I don't know what about the other. Mm -hmm. It's like a full set. This one's Craftsman. My dad had one of these. I they had all. Of them. I mean, had the maybe the heck the other part of it. The crank maybe in here too somewhere. We'll see. Wow. Some of those, like this one, that's a big one. Yeah, so they wouldn't fit the same handle, would they? Oh, but it was an adjustable chuck. Oh, was it? Right? Yeah. Look at that one. It's got that piece, but that's it. It goes in that crank. Oh, well, I've never seen that. This is sharp. Thank you, Lord. It is good, by the way. So, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have one of these in our house. This is an old, just an old household hammer, a little dead hammer, a uh, little ball peen hammer. But it comes unscrewed, and inside of it was a screwdriver. And then inside of it, we, I mean, we have this exact same thing, is another screwdriver. And then inside of it is it's like, what is that thing another called? screwdriver. What is that, the uh, nesting? Yeah, a yeah, uh, little, yeah. Nesting doll. Yeah, like the old. How far uh, does it go any farther? Uh, and then that's it. It's as far as it goes. So you got basically. Uh huh. It's got a same. Oh, it's got another one. 
and another tiny little screwdriver. That's it. That's it. And that's, wow, that's, like, that's, that's for glasses. glasses. Yeah, like so. That's what those are for. And all we used to have is what I think Brad and I, my brother, we think we just eventually lost all the pieces. But uh, yeah, so, there's a there's a Q-tip. Yeah, that's great. So Q-tips are fine for your ears. Kids never stick anything in your bigger van. You're a little bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The Stanley. Handyman. Yeah. Little plane. That's sharp. Is it still sharp? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I've, we were talking about hand planes today. That's what had me looking. Um, I was looking for some that Zach could use. There's still some more in my garage somewhere. Yep. But I've restored some. And the biggest problem is this is usually so pitted. Like yeah. they call it the the foot or the shoe. I think it's the shoe. Um, you had to take sandpaper and get on a flat surface and just uh, work it. Yeah. Um, but that's flat. I mean, the side's a little pitted, but not bad. And you, yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know. Well, it is a. They usually have numbers on them. There's I'm a number sure. right here. Is it? No, it's usually like a number three or number four. Usually, I said something go up my nose. Um, that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, here's another one of another one of these, and a few more new er Stanley chisels. I bet this right here. I went, I went, looked at a much smaller one of these today at Lowe's, and this by itself, the smaller version, and it was a Cobalt, was twenty four bucks. Oh wow! Yeah, and it was not that big. It was not even close to that. Big. So there's, and they were about that size right there. There's two Stanleys. Mm -hmm. There's 24, 24, 50 bucks right there, dude. That one's now, that one needs some work with the, uh, yeah. with the soft sandpaper. Let's go to some type of adjustable part of the shoe. So are those the same? Uh, this is a nine and a half. That one's a 60 and a half. Oh, the angle. Yeah. No? Oh, this is just a little bit smaller all the way around, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Anyway, this, is cool. this one's old. Yeah. I say that's 80s or 90s. Yeah. That one you can be fixed up though. That one, I mean, like you said, a little sandpaper yeah, sandpaper. on it. Put that on a bench grinder or something, just like. Shh. Now I know what this is. Who's that? Because this is one of the things I remember seeing and looking it up. Do you know what that is? It looks like a little um, hand plane. Yeah, this is a Japanese one. It's a Japanese hand plane. Yeah. Huh. It's super simple. Just a little... Just a lever? So just, just a wedge. And you... You ever seen the competitions they do? Um, they have these and... Like, I don't want to use it on your... They have these and they uh, have... I don't know what the rules are, but... And I don't speak the language. But from watching, they take a one of these different sizes and run it down a piece of wood and it puts out a ribbon of shaving and they try to see how thin and how long they can go without breaking. Oh. They are very bored. <laughs> oh, man, they're woodworking. <laughs> oh, they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. I never seen one in person besides. <laughs> Look at this. A little bitty oil can. Man, these are handy. For a chainsaw or. Yep. I don't know how you can read it. It's more stiff. Look at it. Oh, you screwed the top off. Yeah. Oh, it's got a hole in there. It's got a little bit. Turn it up the other way. Yeah. It's got hair on it, too. Yeah, nice. I oh, bet you this cost somebody $11.95. Oh, <laughs> man. That's a little uh, ankle gauge. So, how they use that for? Oh. I guess you'd use them a lot, like doing trim work and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, mm -hmm. Ooh, now we're getting into these. Uh, There's another angle gauge. Yeah. Oh. Now we're getting into some of the things that I don't know. This is a ratchet screwdriver. So, in other words, you put it on whatever it is, you do this, and go, it's supposed to go down. I think it's locked. And it doesn't work. So, let's just pull it out. Yeah, yeah, you go like this and it goes. Oh! Yeah. 
So it's an old timey. No, what? So what the, what's the switch for? A little back reverse. Okay, that one doesn't move at all. I think the middle is stopped. That's what this one did. Yeah. So that one went, that reversed it. Now what are these called? That's reverse. Yankee. Yankee. Does yours, what's your? Yeah, it what's changes the direction. What's what your does your brand say? Um, it does too. It's up, this one's up here. The mine says Yankee. Stanley. Stanley. Hmm. That, yeah. There's a bunch of them. That that is the Yankee. They got a big one, medium. This one has. It's like Harry Potter. Is that what these are? Huh. That's probably the, yeah, the, probably the chugs that go into So let's this one out. This one's got one in it. It is. Oh, yeah. So that's what those are for. Yeah, I really don't know how to get it out. Oh, there you should pull down. Put it back in. I got it out. Just pull it down. Pull it down. I got it out. Oh, okay. You got to line it up just right. Okay. Pull it down and pull it out. Huh. I mean, the power drill is kind of taking the place of this, you know, but. I bet you, like you said, I bet you it's collectible. Yeah. But look at that. Smooth action, too. Look at that. <laughs> look, at the, look at the tracking on that thing. The two of them both ways, reverse and back and go forward and backward. That's, that's pretty cool engineering. That's a lot of machine work. Yeah. That's cool. So that's why these are different why sizes. These is forever. Does that fit that? It's too big. I'm sure that fits this one. Though. Yeah, I yeah. that one. There's a little one. A Yankee. Oh, these are numbered like planes. Yankee. No, no, maybe not. Number 135. I'm not seeing numbers on this. This one's smaller, but I don't see it coming out. Huh. Maybe, they, maybe they walk. Oh, it was locked. That's what it is. You put it up in there like this, and you lock it into place, and you won't, you won't like, extend. These have literally been sitting, been sitting in my garage for two years and I mean there's no telling how old they are somebody used these a lot because of the fact that they're so, they old. Got, they're so old they got so many sizes of them this somebody really how did you really? get that done oh okay <laughs> zip the letter one two three four yeah, so that one comes out come in and you, you, you lock it so it doesn't come out yeah well, now that one's locked and it come out this one's another Yankee. We got a bunch of Yankees and one Stanley. There's no Southern ones? Well, here's another Stanley. Two oh, Stanley. Maybe the Stanley's Southern. I don't know. So. These are different. Oh, spring loaded. Is, is that, that a Stanley? This one's spring loaded, man. It's like a jackknife. What is it? Is it is there? Hold it. Is that others? Is that, others? Is that the Stanley? This is the Stanley. Where's that other Stanley? Does it do that? Uh, this one's springs done. This is smooth. These are different. Oh, this is an version. This is the same brand as this. Stanley Handyman. Hmm. That, one's got, that one's got different that tips in the back of it. You take that off and there's some tips back there. Is that? Okay, no, those are too big. It's the same yeah. idea. Well, and I bet you use that little oil can to grease these, probably. So, you know, this guy, I mean, this was obviously used for... And this has got the same lock feature. They use these a lot. And I don't know if these don't, these don't go. They added some. Yep. Yeah. These guys, Oops. there's a punch. I'm geeking out over this. Yeah. That's, man, this is better than... Yeah. I mean, this is not better than the power. And the battery doesn't run down. Exactly. That's a little bit more manual labor, but anyway. How many times do you use a, a manual in the house? This would be better than that. Yeah. You could have put together Landon's baby bed with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> now, this one doesn't have one. No, I don't. No, I think it's just the handle screw down. Yeah. No, that was the same kind of pieces. 
Yep. That's a punch. I've said that several times on here. I know. Okay. But uh, I'll lay that right there. Nothing exciting about that. Clicks. Mm -hmm. Another piece. Now what is that? Huh. That looks like some kind of. Um, oh, like a owl. reset. Okay. Like a recess, yeah, like yeah, like um, like you put it in there and you'd recess, yeah, recess the because uh, it'll carve car it out on one side. I've got something like that. I'm going to power it. These go over here. Yeah, that's kind of, oh, that's a good side, man. Like a big recess screw with that. That's pretty neat. So, that. That's easy. You got a. It's a light. A light pen. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the rest of this is just stuff that's kind of fail. Yeah, it's a bone lighter. We still got flint. That's that's the thing. That's a lady's lighter. Well, maybe this is a lady who did all this stuff. No. Don't ask me how I know that. What if I did ask you to? Know that? that is. No, I really don't know how I know that. Oh, then a bottle opener. You know what that is? Somebody's used that and maybe put that on. I think that's a, nah, um, it looks like a, uh, um, my brother has one. Um, uh, you, know, you, know, you know how, um, when you, <laughs> this isn't safe, don't do this kids. Um, when you don't book your seatbelt at Dings? Yeah. There's a bypass. I think this is. It's a bypass for a seatbelt. Like you just push it in the thing, and it won't ding at you. <laughs> My brother has one. That's the only reason I know. Because that, if that's a bottle opener, that's a poor looking bottle. Yeah, opener. it doesn't have a good edge for it, but it looks like it would be a bottle this opener. This is the ticket. Ticket. I guarantee you that's what it is. Huh. Well, you know. There you go, folks. Seventy-five dollars, right here. There's no telling. I mean, I don't, I don't have a guess of value. I'm gonna say that just based on these, and if you fix them up a little bit, um, you buy one of these new, these are Stanley's, these are good ones. These are probably at least, you could get 20 or 20, 20 bucks out of those, even on maybe 15. This one, 40, 50 bucks out of that. I, and then you got all, I mean, those things are brand new right there. Go make a wager, the most valuable items slash items. My wager would be the the new Bailey Stanley or the collection of the Yank, were the Yankee Stanley screwdrivers? I guess so. I don't, uh, we'll figure out what these are, maybe probably put them in the show notes. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, I've seen them in antique stores, but I've never. And a bag, a woodcraft bag. So, I, and there's no telling. That's neat. Yeah, just a simple little. Looks almost like a hatchet, but I think that's a wedge that you would drive oh, under something. Like you would take it and drive it under something and wedge it out. That's a nail puller. That's a nail puller. A little hammer. Clark's bar. Clark bar are great. <laughs> anyway. This was fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's kind of like those Amazon it's a, boxes. It's a time yeah. We need to do that. We need to do the more of these. Like, go to hit a yard sale and find something that's just like a bag like this, and then open it up and just see, hey, what's in it? Doesn't your dad have like a, a mystery box? box. Doesn't you have a, dad, a, a box from your dad that's really old? He, he, I do, but I don't, I, I don't know if he's given away a lot. He gave, a, he gave away a lot of stuff like uh, that okay. before he passed He was away. a mason, wasn't he? He was a mason. Okay. Yeah, he, like, he was a bricklayer. Good one, too. I'm just Slow, but he was good. This is literally like a time capsule. Yeah, this is really cool. A lot of neat stuff here. And these tools made somebody some money, I'm sure. There were a, still an artisan with somebody who just, you know, did a lot of woodworking. Or... Dad used these. I mean, and you can still sharpen them. Yeah. These are just a, a twisted version of this. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I wonder if these are worth anything. If people collect these. Oh. Yeah. But, I know, I know. My mother-in-law has one of these at her house, and her dad used it. He was a, he was in construction, and he did. He used these all the time. 
so how many times I have. And this is just nostalgic for me. I mean, I just look at this and I go, that just brings back memories from my, my childhood right there. Because my dad, or my, I don't know who brought that into the family, but my dad had one of these and it was exactly this hammer. And, and that's how I knew it went down like those those um, nesting dolls. Nesting dolls. Yeah. So that was cool. That was really neat. That was fun for me. So I, it'll be, I would like to redo these. Yeah. I have another bag. I, uh, when I was pulling this out of the garage, I have another bag of, I bought a lot. Um, again, this is before Dad died, when I was still, you know, very interested in this stuff. Um, I bought a, a, me and him were bidding together on a bag of hammerheads, a lot of hammerheads. Like just, just old. Hammer? Just yeah, hammerheads. Pumpkin. Yeah. This old, hammerheads? Yeah, hammerheads? old hand forked hammerheads. Really? Um, I mean, they're just heads, so you all need handles like these. Look at this. That's, that's that. That's the Clark Bar thing. What, do you know what it's called? Well, that's got a little hatchet on it. But this one, this one is, um, it doesn't say what it is. It's made of swordfish. So so this was my like, dad's. So you can tell here that it was dry forged. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's not an expensive tool, but a good tool. Yeah. It's just a smaller version of this to get in at tighter places. But that's what that was for, just to nail it in. Like you're trying to wedge up some wood or something, like a piece, but that's, that's what that is. But yeah, if y'all like this, we... I go to estate sales well before COVID. I went to estate sales all the time and with that. When do you do this again sometime? This was fun. Yeah. So yeah. if y'all are interested and want to do it again, just put us a comment down below. Um, as always, we really appreciate y'all watching. Remember, next time I'll bring the beard and we'll work on the wisdom together. We'll see y'all later.